Thank you, Phil. Uh, ben Bergman and then Deirdre Brown. Great, thank you. I, I think at the outset I'd say, I think it's important to recognize that there's no tension between an effective police department and a police department that follows the constitution and respects citizen civil rights. That's a false choice and we have to reject it. Uh, second, I think as others have talked about, there's a small number of people who are responsible for the vast majority of crime, violent crime in the city. And we have to avoid the temptation to pursue solutions that disproportionately impact black and brown men who have no connection to that small group. Uh, we need to invest in violence interrupters and other community organizers and organizations on the ground. We need to invest in communities. Um, but I, turning to the, the size of the police force question, I think this debate is a little gone sideways. I think what we need to focus on is how can we make the police department more effective? We know for, for many years, the FBI has made clear that police officers with college degrees are more effective and they're also much less likely to use force unlawfully or violate a citizen's civil rights. We need to make sure that every MPD recruit has a college degree. We also need to make sure that law enforcement officers are familiar with the law, which many of them aren't. They have very limited training. We can leverage UDC. We have a law school in Ward 3. Let's use that to train our officers in the beginning of their career and throughout on the constitution so that they can follow the law while they uh, enforce the law. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Uh, Deirdre Brown. 